Edwards, a 6'6", 215-pound sophomore forward. Tommy Summers out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania. Franklin Regional High School, 9.7 rebounds. And then Austin Fowler, 6'6", 215-pound sophomore forward out of Farmington Hills, Michigan, Brother Rice High School, 14.6 rebounds. And then starting in the middle, 6'8", senior center, 245 pounds, Eric Dewar out of Gibsonia, Pennsylvania, averaging seven points and six rebounds. Chicago wins the opening tip. They will dress in their home whites, but they're on the road tonight in white trimmed in blue. That's because the Case Spartans are wearing the red of the Rivercats in honor of throwback weekend. Driving in and scoring the first two of the night is Tommy Sotos for the University of Chicago, and they are on the board first. Case in the River Cats red uniform. Right block pass inside to Tom Summers, and he hits a soft one-handed jumper for his first two of the night. Chicago on offense, University of Chicago dribbling in, putting up a shot, and missing it is Matt Johnson, and the Spartans come down with a rebound. Comes Case in the break, Mike Byrne to Austin Fowler, right of the lane, puts up a shot against pressure, missed it. Case looking for a foul, don't get it, here comes Chicago. The Spartans and the Maroons played to a overtime 71-66 loss a week ago for Case. Matt McKenzie dribbles in from the right side and scores for Chicago. They're up 4-2. Tom Summers with the basketball for Case at the foul line. They swing it inside. Eric Dewar left block. Dewar working hard inside. Spin, shot off the glass, and it's good. Eric Dewar averaging seven points. A night this season for Case. Gets his first two. Chicago with the basketball, Tommy Sotis with it, left wing. Top of the key, three in the air by Tom Williams, and it's good. Williams, the junior out of Cincinnati, St. Xavier High School, and Chicago's up 7-4 early. Reed Anderson, ball above his head, left wing. Top of the key now to Doerr. Right side to Byrne, back to Summers. Inside the three-point line, he makes it, it's a two. And a toe inside that line, he'll only get credit for two, he's got four. It's good to see. Good to see Tom Summers get off to a good start. Quick start tonight. To Starsick with the basketball. Chicago works it right side. Dribbling with it on that right side is Matt Johnson. They're going to bring it back out to Sustarsik. Now Tommy Sotos with it. Now Sustarsik left wing in front of the case bench. Sustarsik to a cutter. It's Tom Williams. Wibbles dribbles, Williams dribbles in, gets it off to a teammate. Shots blocked. Out of bounds off of Chicago. A lot of activity under the hoop, Ron. 13. 13. Mike Byrne will bring it up for Case. Byrne will give it off to Reed Anderson. Spartans down one very early going here. About three minutes gone. Working inside to Tom Summers. And Tom put up a shot and he was fouled. Fouls on... Michael Sustarsik, that's his first. And Tom Summers will be at the line, he'll shoot two. Tom on the season, a very good free throw shooter, 79%. Eyes the first and makes the first. He's got five of Case's seven points tonight. Tom Summers makes the second, he's got six. So Case is up, one point, it's 8-7. Very early on in this game tonight. Open up, Tommy, open up. Open up, Chicago with the basketball. Williams and Johnson is to Starsick out on the perimeter. Williams will shoot a three. He misses it long, and Dewar comes down with a rebound. Nice work by Eric Dewar under got good position. Mike Byrne with a nice hesitation dribble. Gets some space, gets it off to Reed Anderson. Anderson with a soft floater from the left baseline. Reed Anderson with two. Chicago wants a timeout. Case is up three with about three, and a, three minutes and 37 seconds gone in this one. They're just going to make a substitution. The Maroons will not take a timeout, a substitution. So Spartans are up 10 7. Steve Stefano has checked into the basketball game for Chicago. Stefano, a 6 8 forward, junior. 
out of Cincinnati St. Xavier High School. They get the ball immediately to him. Working that left block against Doerr. Turnaround shot off the glass, and it's good. Stefano, if I remember correctly last year, Ed wore us out. I believe so, and it's, it just seems that way, that Chicago has just found a way over the years to knock off Case Western. They've beaten uh, the Spartans of Case three straight. They own the series, 28 wins to only seven losses. Mike Byrne will inbound it for Case. They've got 35 seconds to shoot. Byrne finds Reed Anderson right corner in front of that Chicago bench. Good, bounce the floor. Anderson with the basketball off the Byrne right wing. Austin Fowler, lob pass in, door double teamed on the right block. Looking to get it back to Fowler, and he does. Austin Fowler, left hand dribble, top of the key, puts up a shot, and it goes. Austin Fowler rattles the rim from about 18 feet. He's got two. Case is up three, it's 12 to nine. Four of the five starters already in the book for Case. Williams, long three from about 24 feet, top of the key, and he makes it. Tom Williams with two threes, he's got six points. Tommy Sotos leads Chicago with 41 threes. Johnson's second with 38, but the way that Williams is shooting him, you'd think he was the team leader. I think Case will be content to let him shoot from 24 feet all night. Game's tied at 12. 15 minutes to play opening half. Women lost by 10 in the opener tonight to Chicago. Chicago's win streak has improved to 12 in a row. Tom Summers on the right block, shot off the glass and it's good for Case, he's got eight. He's averaging just over eight a game. So Summers in a very good rhythm early on here. Sistarsik with the ball with burn on him for Chicago. Top of the key now, it's Chase Davis. Davis ball above his head. Left wing to Matt Johnson. Johnson crossover dribble against Reed Anderson. Turnaround shot, left of the lane, missed it. And the rebound off of Case. Austin Falls Fowler. loose, went off Case. And Chicago will get it back with a fresh clock. Fowler came in from the, from the backside, the weak side. Took a big chop at the basketball, tried to knock it down. Instead knocked it more out of bounds. Dewar and Tom Summers will take a seat, get a little break for Case. Thompson is in along with Alex Hildebrand. David Thompson, a 6'9 freshman center out of Plano, Texas. He's in now into the game, and as well as the senior, the 6'4 forward, Alex Hildebrand out of St. Vincent, St. Mary. Stefano with the ball at the foul line, puts up a shot for Chicago, and he misses it. And Austin Fowler comes down with a rebound. Did uh, Hildebrand raid your drawer for those socks? He has some old looking socks on. <laughs> Ed's reference to raiding my drawer is it's throwback weekend and Alex Hildebrandt has high socks pulled up. They look a little dirty and they've got red stripes across the top. Three in the air for Case. <laughs> Dead for Fowler from deep. Shot was made by Austin Fowler as we were discussing the finer points of Alex Hildebrandt's socks. So Fowler's got five and Case is up five at 17-12. Steal by Reed Anderson, stepped in a passing lane, picked off a pass. Down the floor, left wing. Top of the key now to Fowler. Right side to Mike Byrne. Case is up 17-12, 13-15 left to play opening half. David Thompson with it, top of the circle. Austin Fowler, another long one and this one's good again. Austin Fowler's feeling it, looking over at that Case bench, just smiling away, boys. He's got 11. Fowler on the season, averaging 14 points, leads this Case team in scoring. Steal in the backcourt by Fowler. And he went to lay it up and in, and he was fouled hard by Chase Davis. Coach McDonald looking for the intentional foul as Fowler had the breakaway. That will be Davis's first. And at the line, shooting two will be Austin Fowler. Three team fouls right now for Chicago. Fowler, the junior out of Farmington Hills, Michigan. Made the first, made the second. Austin Fowler. Has 10 points. Case is up 10 at 
12.40 left to play. It's Derek Davis in the ball game now for Chicago. Derek Davis out of Saginaw, Michigan. Chicago working it inside and steps inside. Traveling call by Sam Gage. Sam Gage trying to get position inside, walked with the basketball. Tim Chung will now check in for Case. Reed Anderson will take a seat. Chung, the freshman guard, six foot two out of Cypress, California. Good player for Case off the bench. Him and David Thompson, two talented freshmen for Case that come off the bench a lot for the Spartans. Hildebrandt and Fowler, Chung with it, and Byrne. Byrne now left baseline. Off to Hildebrandt, top of the key, inside the three-point line, he makes a two. Well, Case is now 11, or 10 of 11 from the floor run. If they're gonna shoot over 90%, Chicago might as well just go to the locker room now. Spartans are up 12, it's 24 to 12. Inside 12 minutes to play. Chase Davis with it at the foul line extended. They're gonna swing it all the way over. Left corner, swing it to Derek Davis. He drives in, puts up a shot. It's off the back of the rim, doesn't go. But he was fouled. Fouls on Austin Fowler, that will be his first, and Derek Davis will go to the line, he'll shoot two. Davis on the season, a 58% free throw shooter, he'll get two. Eyes the first, and this one is short. Davis, a freshman guard, six foot two, out of Saginaw, Michigan, Bridgeport High School. He eyes the second, and this one is good. Every time. Spartans up 11 at 24 13. Mike Byrne with the basketball. And that free throw in at a 12 0 run for the Spartans. Chung now has it. Spots up from the right side, threw up a three, missed it. But David Thompson came down with a rebound, and then he lost it out of bounds off his leg. And Chicago will get the basketball back. On the floor right now for Chicago, it's Davis, it's Williams, along with Tommy Sotos, Chase Davis. And they're working down low with Sam Gage. Chase Davis has it right wing against Austin Fowler. Dribbles right by Fowler, left hand reverse layup, missed it. But Gage got the rebound. Puts up a shot and it's good. Sam Gage with his first two. And Chicago on a mini 3-0 run. Quick first half run, we're almost halfway through. Spartans are at three and four, trying to go to an even 500 in University Athletic Association play. Chicago's at four and three. Uh, evenly matched game, it was a week ago. They expect it again tonight. Working inside, Alex Hildebrandt misses the shot for Case. Thompson with the rebound though, and Case will reset it. They bring it out to Mike Byrne between the circles. Left wing now to Austin Fowler. Three in the air for Fowler, and it's good. They're gonna give him two. Boy, he must have just been on that line. Austin Fowler with 13 points. Summers had eight quick ones to start with, and now Fowler banged down 13 in a heartbeat as well. Chicago with the basketball. Gage works it right of the lane. Fade away, 12-footer, and he makes it. Sam Gage with four. Power went. The whole power went. Okay. In one, good job. David Thompson inside. He makes a shot. Wagner! Wagner! Go to Tim! Mike Byrne with the basketball. He's on the side of Tim Chung. Chung now back top of the key to Alex Hill. The brand back to Byrne. Byrne gets position, gets a shot out. Michael! Michael Byrne with his first two. He's got two. He averages five on the season.
brought it back for a second. I know, I'm just keeping going. <laughs> Chicago will bring the basketball up. The Maroons out of that timeout. Tommy Sotos will deliver to Derek Davis. Moving! Is it on now? Moving, Jim! Screen sets up Derek Davis and he lays it up and in. Can you? Sean, was it off to Alex Silverbrand? Top of the key to swing it right side to Reed Anderson. Anderson back. Got it! Oh, slow. Good, look! Look! In one! Good! Fourteen! Tipped by Chicago in case Keep it high, it. Dave! Keep it high! Keep it Hildebrand! Seconds to shoot. Alex! Fourteen! Pin! Pin! Jason and Mike Byrne gets it into the Push! In one! Good! 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 What do you have to have down here? I don't need the I, I, I don't need the big one. I need the other two and the small one. Thirty-two twenty-one cases. Give me the one right now to see if that works. At least one. Davis is nine, and the two teams trade three pointers. It's 35 26, six minutes, 45 seconds left to play opening half. And a whistle away from the ball, a hold underneath. The foul will go against Derek Davis of Chicago. Foul's going to go against Derek Davis. That's his first. Mass substitutions for Case coming out will be Tim Chung, Mike Byrne, David Thompson, and Alex Hildebrandt. In four case will be Tom Summers, Austin Fowler, Eric Dewar. And Mark Bentley. Mark Bentley, a six foot freshman guard out of Downers Grove, Illinois, is now into the basketball game for Case. And Bentley will get the inbounds. Swings it over to Reed Anderson. Now to Fowler, left wing. Fowler looking into Dewar, left of the lane. Door working hard against Stefano, goes in, soft right hand, hook shot, misses. And down with the rebound is Williams for Chicago. Down the floor, Williams starts. That went 
Davis. For Davis, it's second and personal. Fifth team five. Kings basketball. Door with it, right foul line extended. They're going to swing it left to Bentley, a whistle away from the ball. It will go against Case. Fouls against Reed Anderson. That is Reed's first, second team foul for Case. Chicago's got five team fouls. We've got six minutes and three seconds left to play in this opening half. Spartans are up nine at 35 26. Michael Sestarsik picks up his dribble between the circles off to Stefano. Three in the air by Chicago, and it's good from Matt Johnson. Johnson with his Johnson with his first basket. And the case lead is now down to six at 35-29. The lights just came back on in Georgia and about blew my hair right off my head. We were without power for a while there. We apologize for that, but we are back on now. I felt like the guy in the Little Rascals that was in the audio booth for the Silver String Submarine Band when they were playing with all those levels and all of a sudden it blew his hair straight up in the air. Remember it blew his hat right off his head? That is exactly what just happened to me. Inside for Case, it's Tom Summers working hard. He misses a shot, but he was fouled, and they're gonna call, actually they're gonna call a foul against Eric Doerr on the rebound. Foul's gonna go against Case, and it's gonna come back Chicago way. So for Doerr, that's his first. <laughs> Sorry, so we missed about five minutes of action. As we replace the entire power strip <laughs> on two sections of Oh, press row here. So let's set where we're at. We're inside five minutes in the opening half. Case had a 12-point lead. Yeah, it was 24-12 at one point. And it's now down to three. Because Chicago just hit back-to-back -back threes. Matt Johnson hit his second in a row. And it's 35-32 with 4.35 left to play in the opening half. So the 12-point lead has evaporated. Door working with it, right wing. Door working hard, spin and dribble one. off the right block, shot one. off the glass, rolls and good. Let's go. Eric doer has got four. Door, the senior out of Gibsonia, Pennsylvania. Top of the key, three in the air by Matt Williams. This one was so missed, it almost knocked somebody's head off after it hit the backboard, it came out so hard. Case gets the long rebound. Bentley, off to Reed Anderson. Top of the key now to Summers. Thinks about a three, looks inside to Fowler, now gives it off to Bentley, working against the Starsick. Fowler, right into the lane, put up a shot, missed it long, but the rebound is there by Summers, feeds it out to Fowler, kicks it out to Bentley, lefty three in the air, missed it, and here comes Chicago. A good look by Bentley, just couldn't knock it down. Tommy Sotos, left-handed dribble, right-handed three, misses it left, and Bentley comes down with the rebound. Both teams have had stretches of being red hot tonight. Started with Case, and then it was Chicago. Case missed only one of their first 10 shots. Summers just missed one, Doerr missed the follow. Chicago with the rebound. Matt Johnson will bring it up, he's been red hot. Hands it off to Sestarsik and they'll set that Maroons offense. 3.21 left to play opening half, Spartans up five, their largest lead was 12. We got a whistle and a foul away from the ball. I was going to go against Tom Williams. That will be his first. It will be the sixth team foul for the Maroons of Chicago. Mike Byrne and Alex Hildebrandt checking off the bench for Case. Taking the seat will be Mark Bentley and Reed Anderson. So, uh, no, not Reed. It's uh, Tom Summers that will check out. So on the floor right now for Case, it's Reed Anderson. It's Mike Byrne. It's Eric Doerr, Austin Fowler, and Alex Hildebrandt. The boys lost the razor this week, Ed. <laughs> a lot of them are sporting uh, a look that would be not 1949. I would guess like. No, they would match Alex Hildebrandt's socks, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, like 70s. Like yeah, mid-70s. Pete well. Maravich kind of stuff. Well, if you remember last year, Reed Anderson had the full, full chops going last year. Well, Hildebrandt and uh, Fowler have tried to do that. Reed Anderson's got a mustache. 
Tom Summers has got a little bit going as well. Chicago's back, got the basketball. Williams steps back for a three, right wing, it's short. Well, they get the long rebound. Right back to Williams. He spins, traveled in the lane, but he gets a layup and it counts. <laughs> wow. That was a, a move only afforded to LeBron James in the NBA, but they'll give it to Tom Williams tonight here at Horsburg Gymnasium. Case is up three at 37-34. 2.22 left to play opening half. Fowler working hard right baseline. Swing it, swing it. Swing it all the way left. Reed Anderson with it. Lob inside the door. Left block. Double team, triple team. Soft right-handed hook. Gets the bounce and it drops. Eric doer has got six. Barton lead back to five, here comes Chicago. Sustarsik with it, left-hand dribble on the right wing. Nice feed inside, he's got a man inside. Shots up, partially blocked, missed. And Austin Fowler comes down with a rebound. Matt Johnson missed it. Good defense that time by Case. Here comes Mike Byrne quickly down the floor against Sustarsik. Out to Fowler, left wing three in the air, it's good. Austin Fowler with his third three of the night, he's got 16 points. Case is up eight, 42-34, minute 34 left to play opening half. The women lost 65-55 in the first game tonight of our doubleheader. Men trying to avenge a loss a week ago in Chicago. Case three and four in the season in University Athletic Association play. They started out three and oh, they've lost four in a row. We'd like to stop that streak tonight. Now with the basketball, it's Matt Johnson. Johnson working against Reed Anderson, ball's kicked by Reed and Chicago's gonna keep it. Shot clock's going to go to 15 seconds from four on the kick. David Thompson has checked in for Case. Dribbling with the basketball, it's Matt Johnson, dribbles in, put up a shot. It was missed, but he was fouled. So Matt Johnson will go to the foul line. I was gonna go against Reed Anderson. We better take care of him. Johnson will shoot two, the first one's up, and this one is good. Matt Johnson with 10 points in the opening half. I think for the second half round, I'm going to the back of the gym to call this game. <laughs> He's the, got three threes and a free throw. <laughs> the technical problems we've been running into. Just don't touch anything. That's right. <laughs> second one is up, and it is also good. We have a gremlin in the works tonight. It'll be like Homer Simpson at the power plant. Case leads at six, it's 42-36. 45 seconds left to play opening half. Byrne will hand it off to Fowler. Fowler gets a double screen, puts up a three, misses it long. Hildebrandt hustles for the rebound, but doesn't get there. Tom Williams beats it to it, beats him to it, and here comes Chicago. Maroons with the basketball. Sustarsik with it with Byrne out on him near midcourt. Sustarsik by Byrne. 21 seconds on the shot clock, 22 on the game clock, so only about a second difference there, maybe two. With the basketball near midcourt is Tommy Soto, so off to Sestarsic. Back to Matt Johnson. Johnson with Chung on him. Six seconds to shoot. Johnson, Chung reaches in, steals the ball, off to Hildebrandt. Five seconds to shoot, Alex goes up, lays it up and in, with two seconds left in the opening half, and that'll do it. The halftime buzzer goes off and Case is up eight. As Chung steals the ball, Alex Hildebrandt picks it up and dribbles in for two of his nine points in the opening.